Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Chantel of So Chantel, and today I am sharing with you what is raising my vibration. It is a good old home cooked meal. That's right, that basic but so good for the soul. So we live in Florida and right now it has been so cold. It's like in the 40s, like low 40s, which I know. First world problems, because in a lot of places it is for reason cold, but that's cold for us. So for the last few days, it's been really cold and rainy. And like a week or so ago, it was almost 80 degrees. I know, it tricks the system. I don't even know what to say. So tonight, to combat the cold and the rainy weather, we are making a one pot dish, chicken and rice. So this chicken and rice dish is a little more on the soupy side versus just the straight up like, you know, shovel it in with a fork. You'll see what I mean. So before we get to it, I just wanna remind you to Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Make sure that you subscribe because all of that really supports my channel. And if you have any favorite recipes, make sure you comment down below and let me know what they are. And if there's anything specific you would like to see, make sure you comment as well and I will get it for you. Here we go. For this recipe, you're gonna need two cups of rice, a heaping cup to two cups of carrots, one garlic clove, a quarter of an onion, some leftover chicken, parsley flakes, homemade seasoned salt, butter, and a whole lot of bone broth. The tools you're gonna need for this recipe, and some of my favorites, are a measuring cup, a garlic press, a measuring spoon, a knife, a cooking spoon, a cutting board, a food chopper, because it just makes life easier, and a pot to cook all of your food in. I start by peeling the garlic and cutting up the carrots. It really doesn't matter how small or large your carrots are, they're gonna cook down when you saute them and cook them with the rice and chicken. Now I'm gonna cut up the onion and I'm gonna cut it up ever so minimally because it's gonna go in the mini chopper. I also opted to put the garlic in the chopper as well. One less dirty dish, you know what I mean? This recipe calls for two to four tablespoons of butter. I'm gonna start with two tablespoons, put it in the pot on medium heat and let that start to melt down. Then I'm gonna add the carrots, onion, and garlic and saute that with about a tablespoon of the house seasoning. And by house seasoning, I mean the homemade seasoning. For the homemade seasoning, all you need is equal parts of pink Himalayan salt, garlic powder, onion powder, and paprika. Mix it all together and you have an amazing seasoning. Once I stir all of that together, I throw my gloves on because I am not a huge fan of handling chicken or beef or anything, just naked hands. So now I'm gonna shred up the chicken that I have. And what I have left over is a, an entire chicken breast and a half, a drumstick and a thigh. So I'm gonna take the skin off of that and shred it up and that's gonna go into the pot. After the chicken's in the pot, I'm gonna add two cups of rice. My favorite kind of rice is basmati from the brand Lundberg. I absolutely love it. Five 
Following that, I'm adding a tablespoon of parsley and I'm gonna mix everything together. So in your pot, you should now have two tablespoons of butter, one to two heaping cups of carrots, a quarter of an onion, one garlic clove, two cups of rice, and a tablespoon of parsley, and let us not forget the delicious homemade seasoned salt because, oh my gosh. Because the bone broth I have only comes in three cup increments, I had to end up adding two cups of stock, which no big deal. Here I'm adding a little more seasoned salt and some better than bouillon because I really wanna make sure that all of this has plenty of flavor. There is a lot of liquid and rice in this recipe and I do not want a bland meal. After all that hard work, the lid goes on, I lower the temperature to low, and I put the timer for 25 minutes. That should be more than enough time for a lot of that liquid to absorb and for us to end up with an amazing recipe. The timer has gone off and I am so excited, you guys. Now it's time to stir it all up and see what the final product is. Like you guys, this is the first time I am seeing this. This is the first time I'm cooking it and I can't wait to put my face in all of this food. Now I get to serve it up and oh my God, it is about to be time to enjoy. After I serve up the dishes, I put a little more parsley on top because I love parsley. And here's where that other little bit of butter comes in. So I put another tablespoon of butter into the rice dish and I put a little pad on each serving of the chicken and rice because this helps to give it that little bit of richness at the end. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. I might have to go serve myself another bowl of this. So we enjoyed that dish so, 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 so much. I can't even tell you. And here is how good it is. I couldn't wait to put my face in it. I actually burned the roof of my mouth and my tongue because that chicken and rice was so scalding hot when I put my fork in it and shoved it in my face. That's what I get. But you know what? It's a battle scar I will gladly accept. It was delicious, you guys. I hope that you make it. And when you do, I hope you enjoy it as much as we did. Now we have some leftovers and I am so excited. So right now I am cleaning up the kitchen because it has been a really long day and I am so ready to just lounge on the couch for a little while. So I have put the food away in a container and now it's gonna cool so I don't put that hot, hot container into the fridge. I'm gonna wash the dishes, wipe down the counters, and that is gonna be that.
You guys, that meal was so amazing. So here's what it is. Once it's all said and done, it's kind of like a cross between rice and risotto. You know what I mean? It's not quite just rice because it's far more moist than that, but it's not quite risotto because it doesn't take a lifetime to cook. Okay. Meanwhile, Hennessy's walking around beside me or behind me. Either way, you guys, thank you so, so much for hanging out with me tonight. It was a lot of fun to make this recipe. It was my very first time making it and it was so incredibly delicious, delicious. Totally hit the spot on a night that's cold and rainy and just blech. Definitely, definitely made my soul feel good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because all of that really does support my channel. And to everyone that has already subscribed, everyone that is liking and commenting and just sending all the love, thank you so, 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 so much. This is all for you guys. If you guys wanna see anything specific, make sure you comment down below and let me know so that I can produce it for you. Until next time, guys, love you, and may the food be with you. You guys are still here? Video's done. Like, oh my god.